Hello my beautiful people, welcome back once again to the channel guys, it's been quite long, I know you've missed me a lot, yeah, from the, uh, the, the messages you've been sending me in my inbox, guys, I must admit that I miss you even more, I mean, what would I do without you guys, it's been quite long, that one, aside, uh, welcome to today's video guys, I'm going to make something interesting for you guys, I want to show you how we make our brooms the local way, yes, we can go ahead and buy, but how about in the village here where there is no market or where no one sells brooms i mean won't we sweep definitely we have to find a way of sweeping so the only way is you have to come to the bush like this and then make your own broom because nobody is going to sell any single broom around here knowing that we have a lot of them all this you're seeing is definitely broom ah meanwhile let me also t tell you something this is either brooms or roofings as well you understand roofing materials so definitely one time i'm also going to show you how we get roofing materials out of these grasses here but for today's video guys straight up i'm going to show you how we can make brooms particularly we use this kind of grass um i don't know if you're going to differentiate them but this is the type i think you can notice it's different from this yeah so this is a bit uh, scattered like this uh, this is almost dry let me show you a very fresh one let me see this is almost also drying. Our fresh ones are not near here, guys. But I really wanted to... Aha, uh -huh, there is this one here. I think you can notice this is more greener than, than, than let's say, like this, yeah? This is a bit... um, It's turning brown already, if you can notice. So this indicates that it's almost drying. And it's just perfect for making brooms, guys. It is actually mature, like ready for harvesting. So guys, let's harvest our brooms, yeah? Let's go ahead and harvest. Welcome once more. So guys, the thing is you have to use a knife like you're seeing me here and then you cut just very many of them because you need a bundle, you won't just need a few of them, you need a big bundle. And then another thing, you cut them long because eventually you're going to level it and cut it to the size you want but for comfortability and then maybe to, to not limit yourself, you have to first cut them long. So by the time you're done, uh, maybe finalizing, you can trim them to the size you prefer. So guys, this is the thing after cutting, 
Uh, if at all our grass was really, really wet, we would first leave it to dry, yeah? We'd first sun dry it maybe for a day or two, depending on the weather. But since, as you can notice, yeah, these are brown. Like you can notice most of them are actually brown, meaning they're actually dry. So we don't need to waste time leaving them to dry again. All we're going to do is just to sort them like this. And then I'm definitely going to show you what follows. So let's start. in such a way that okay this part that i don't know how, whether i should really call them flowers or something but yeah you can see this part that really sweeps the ground should be together you make sure that it starts from the same level yeah this is um this is the best way to start it because when you're definitely going to trim you don't want to have some of this part up to the stem here then others are here so when it's not gathered it does not sweep well so the best way is to sort them and make sure it starts from the same level like this so it's going to make really a good room. So guys, let's sort very fast. something I needed to have told you guys when you're doing this kind of work make sure you're on a long sleeved blouse or dress or whatever you're going to wear make sure your arms are covered otherwise you will not like the aftermath the itching you're going to have while bathing or in the evening when you get back home mm -mm, you will not like it so that's actually the reason I'm on a long sleeved dress today you can notice it's just to protect my arm from the itching and the cuttings meanwhile this 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 grass is also cut a lot a lot like a lot so this is just a protective gear for me yeah so guys let's continue sorting so guys at this point all we have to do is to tie it yeah tie it really firm so that it's not loose and it's not going to scatter yeah So guys next we are going to cut and the cutting is to your preference yeah to your to, 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 to your preference how how long you want it how long you want it entirely depends on you yeah so guys let's cut this thing see this length will do i don't want it so long and neither do i want it so short so i'm going to cut them from here
so here we are my people as you can notice i just made myself a broom i mean i didn't have to buy this yeah because i have nowhere to buy it first of all even if i wanted to buy <laughs> so guys this is just it so for this part you can notice it's a bit scattered yeah uh after like a day or two yeah it it it, it, it uh, how do i say it wilts yeah so it, it's going to wilt and then yeah it gets smooth like straight like this meanwhile this uh the seeds that you're seeing here also keeps falling off one by one so eventually it's going to remain with other seeds here that there are some tiny seeds there you can notice they're all going to fall off eventually and i'm just going to remain with this the more you use it the more it gets smoother so guys here we are i just made myself a broom yeah and i think this is just i mean this is just one thing that if you're in the village and you really don't know how to do this then i don't know if you can really really manage to survive in the village guys because you're definitely going to stay in a dirty place if you cannot do this because you'll have nowhere like nowhere to get yourself a broom from so guys this is just it i really really wanted to show you guys this i hope you've learned something please let me know if you guys make your brooms in any way similar to us or if you guys use the same kind of brushes to make your brooms as well guys otherwise for us this is how we do it and thank you very much for watching it if you've watched it from the beginning to now thanks very much please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel if you're my usual subscriber go ahead please continue doing the usual continue sharing and thanks a lot for the love for now see you in the next one bye bye